Welcome back to 843 TV, where communities come to speak. We're here in Bluffton at the Comfort Inn and Suites. And I'm Marty Sauls with the Jasper County Chamber of Commerce. And today we have Mr. Danny Wilson with the town of Bluffton. Danny, welcome. Thank you for having me. Danny, the Wharf Street Redevelopment Project has certainly been on everyone's radar. Can you tell us a little bit about that project? Absolutely. The Wharf Street Redevelopment Project is a town of Bluff Bluffton initiative in which we built six single-family homes while removing blight and two vacant blighted structures in the historic district of Bluffton, Old Town Bluffton. And we really built six homes that are single-family homes and therefore purchase for residents of Beaufort County as affordable housing. And they integrate a lot of green elements as well as um, many other great architectural elements. Uh, what were the original project goals? Some of the original project goals included removal of blight, as I mentioned. There were two vacant blighted structures on the properties that were purchased for redevelopment. And building affordable housing, as everyone knows, Beaufort County land prices have gone up dramatically over the past several years. And um, affordable housing is in great need in this area. So not only were we removing blight, building new housing, but we also wanted to show that affordable housing could be integrated into a historic district, as well as have nice architectural features. Now, have those goals been met? They have been met. We removed two vacant blighted structures. We redeveloped three corners on an empty part of town, really a part of town that was neglected in our historic district. And we've built six homes that are available for purchase. Danny, where do we stand in the, the process of this project? We have finished construction, so all six homes are completed. Um, we are in the final phases of our first lottery drawing for the applicants. The applicants have gone through um, a process in order to qualify under the Town of Bluffton Affordable Housing Program. And we are now getting ready to have the lottery drawing on August 30th. Quickly, can you tell us a little bit about that process and what, what is the process, I guess? Sure. And um, applications are still available. We are keeping the application open until all six homes are purchased and have closed. So if anyone is interested, they can still fill out an application. But that process includes going submitting documentation for income verification. You go through a background check, a sex offender registry check. We also have housing counseling and a home ownership um, program that you have to go through. And then we go into uh, mortgage pre-approval. So you get a mortgage through a typical lender, such as Wells Fargo or SunTrust or many other of the fine lenders in our area. And then you go into a lottery system for actually selecting home buyers. And Danny, if someone wants information on this project to, to learn how to go through this process for application, who do they contact? They can contact the Town of Bluffton. Um, applications are on the town's website, which is townofbluffton.sc.gov. They're also at the Bluffton Library and also the Town of Bluffton Law Enforcement Center. You can also call our Customer Service Center at 843-706-4522 to ask about more information. So there was an article in the newspaper recently about how none of these houses are occupied yet. Would you like to elaborate or clarify anything about that article? Because I was really surprised, honestly, that there weren't any occupants yet, but obviously I wasn't fully understanding of how that process works. So can you explain that a little bit? Sure. As I mentioned, the homes were finished, and in order for us to schedule the lottery, we had to set home prices and we had to have all of our applicants finish their home buyer education course. Okay. They finished their home buyer education course last week, and we set home prices last week. So now we're moving into the lottery, which I mentioned is on August 30th, and after that we'll schedule closings for people to move into the homes. Okay, so what do you mean by lottery? There is a lottery drawing, so all applicants who are qualified, we currently have 11 who have finished the home buyer education course for six houses, which is pretty good. We have twice as many applicants as homes, um, and once they finish getting their mortgage pre-approval, they're entered into a lottery drawing to select the order in which they choose the homes. Well, wow. so basically it gives them an option of, they, are all the homes the same? They are not. There are three three-bedrooms, two two-bedrooms, and one one-bedroom home. Okay. Now, really is it cute. the lottery based, each one is kind of selected the home that they want, or do they get selected for whatever house is available? They enter their name into the category of home. So if you want a three-bedroom home or a two-bedroom home or a one-bedroom home, that's the category in which you're entered. And then when your name is drawn, the order in which it's drawn is your order of choice of home. Danny, on the pricing of these homes, I know they're subsidized by, is it the federal government? Mm -hmm. What type of subsidies are, are, I guess, in place to make these homes affordable for the lower income families who are interested in these homes? 
the town received two federal grants, um, one a neighborhood stabilization program grant, and one is a home grant. And those grants are how we built the homes. And in order to sell the homes at affordable pricing, they set maximum limits that we cannot exceed. Appraised value is one of those maximum limits. And then we discount the homes off of that to ensure affordability based on our applicant pool. When do you anticipate the first home being occupied? We're hoping to have closings occur in September. Um, it will depend on the purchaser when they would like to close as well as getting all their closing documents in order. So in the very near future, we actually could have new residents in Bluffton. Yes, we could. That's great. Now, do they, they have to be current residents of Beaufort County? Beaufort County. They can live or work in Beaufort County oh, okay. to qualify. And then that is in Red Cedar School District? School zone? It is in the um, MC Riley Elementary School. Oh, it is. Bluffton Middle and Bluffton High. Oh, okay. Neat. Well, they're very cute little homes. I saw, I haven't actually seen the inside of them, but I saw the article in the paper. They're really neat homes. I think that's a wonderful opportunity, especially for single moms or, you know, independent business owners or because we were talking off camera that our median income is. Did you say it was the highest? What was Our per capita income yeah. in, for Beaufort County is the highest in the state. And That's I know the 60. qualification is 80% of that mm -hmm. lower income level, which is 65,000. So it would be 80% of 65,000. Which is about 55,000 for a family of four. Which sounds like a lot, but until you try to buy a home here. <laughs> <laughs> and pay your Not utilities really and lot. buy groceries. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I know I definitely learned a lot about that because yeah. I was curious about how the whole process works. So. That's, I can't wait to see. I'm sure that you have people anxiously waiting for the answer to all that to see how that spans out for everybody. So thank you for joining us. And also thank you to Shannon and thank to you. Eric. And thank you to Marty for co-hosting today. And come back and join us next time here on 843 TV where uh, communities yeah, come to speak. speak.